All right, guys. Here I am by the quail cages, and uh, if you remember, this one here. If well, if you haven't been following me, this here uh, I made as my uh, I was going to make as my brooder. Okay, as I take them out the incubator, put them in here. The problem is, my I don't have an incubator. My I made a little small one that's inside and. Uh, it's just not that's not working out for me so what I plan on doing I started off with this I'm starting off with this, this is an egg turner okay so this this is what got me thinking about everything because it was like I'm turning eggs and they have a hand and I, I don't want to keep continue that if I'm gonna raise quail I don't I can't keep doing that so th here's my first <coughs> Uh, egg turner. So, as I as I'm thinking about this, I, I know that I can convert this little area very quickly to start incubating these eggs. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to I'm gonna cut this, and on this end here, I'm gonna raise. I'm gonna add. And make us a, a door in the front, and it's, that way I can have several of these <coughs> egg turners in here. So today's project, I'm going to go ahead and add on. Okay, that's what it's starting to look like, getting close. kind of show you what's happening here so far so uh, I have the uh, the incubator the incubator part built I got my light in it I got it on right now just testing it um, and I'm fixing to put the uh, foam in I got the light on here on right now because uh, that's going to be the brooder box the lights on in there right now so I'm going to start closing things in all right guys well here look at what's going on I uh, Putting the putting the foam in it.
Okay, guys. Um, maybe I can get. I don't know if maybe you can see better. It's all. It's nighttime. My my phone. Uh, my phone. My my camera went dead on me today while I was filming everything. Um, I'm not finished, but this is what I have so far. Uh, if you could see here, um, if you remember this, this cage here went all the way across, like the bottom. And uh, so what I did was I, I took this uh, this section of it, cut it out, and added on to it, and made this in the inside, um, which is going to be my incubator. And there's an egg turner in there. Now, uh, those little uh, container, water containers, that's not going to be, uh, that's not staying there. Um, uh, because um, I need to get one big tray of water down there. If I have all those several trays like that, i got to run separate feeds to fill up each one, and I don't want to do that. So, uh, wait, hang on, I'm pulling up my phone, I want to. See if I can shine some light in there for you. Maybe that might help. There, there you go. You can kind of see what's going on there. Uh, see the light at the top. And there's the, my egg turner. Okay. Uh, on top here, you're going to see I have my light. I have a uh, thermometer that's, uh, I can set it. Um, it was working fine today. I had it on all day today. It was working fine. It was keeping 99 degrees in there, but uh, you know, I, I didn't know about the humidity. I didn't go that, that far yet. Uh, what I'm gonna do tomorrow? I gotta cut me out a cut me out a hole here and put me a piece of glass in here. Well, I got plexiglass uh, that I'm gonna put in here, so I could be able to keep an eye on it. I gotta put a, a latch on here. I'm actually gonna put the, the foam that I have on the walls in here. I'm gonna put some foam on on this door here um, that, that fits in the inside of this. And uh, so that that would uh, just seal up uh, even t even tighter because I, I have a little bit of a gap at the bottom, um, but it's okay. But uh, once I once I put the foam on this door, uh, it should seal it up pretty good. Uh, and the only thing I got to do is add me a, a, a fan, uh, kind of circulate the uh, the air in there, and maybe uh, an exhaust. I'm thinking about putting two fans side by side. One facing in, one facing out, and it could create a, a, a draft where the air could circulate and get out. Um, I'm going to do a little research on that tonight to see if that's uh, feasible, what, I'm, what, you know, what I should do. Um, now, on this, this uh, part here, I still have to close in uh, the side wall there, if you can see that. It's open still. I got to close that in, and I have my door that I, t I had taken off, and I got to cut that down and put that here. And I'll get this ready because tomorrow I have eggs in the incubator and it's day 14 tomorrow. And uh, they come out the incubator and they're going to go in here. But see, my, my whole uh, plan now is that um, my incubator will be right here. Uh, when day 14 comes, I could take them out. I can put them in here. This would be the brooder box. Uh, I have this light that's up here. Is actually going to be the light that's going to be on the on the brooder box, and I have another uh, temperature uh, gauge ordered that should be here next week. Um, uh, until then, I'm going to use this one that I have for here because uh, I'm not putting nothing in the incubator yet uh, till uh, uh, next Friday because uh, I just started collecting the eggs today to go in there. So I'm gonna go this whole week, Friday to Friday, and get my eggs. I should have somewhere around 60, 63 eggs. Uh, by Friday, and I'm gonna put those in the incubator. Okay, um, so uh, and then I'm uh, gonna. So my process is gonna be. Here's my incubator. After 14 days, I take them out, put them in this section here. After they're here for a little while, excuse me. <coughs> after they in here, uh, a week or two, pull them out, put them in the grow the grow pen down here. And uh, on this neck, on this go around, if I have some females, I'm going to have me uh, uh, put a male in each one of these cages with females, depending on how many I get. 
out of this uh, litter. If I don't get any out of this litter, I'll do it on the next one. But I'm calling it a litter. I don't know what they call it. But anyway, that's my, my, my plan, my process that's going on here. I'm finally getting it down. I'm understanding it. I know what to do. So uh, the only thing i got to do on my breeder cages really is i got to make my, my trays. i got my trays. And, um, and i got to uh, run on each side. i got to run uh, my food just like, just like here on the side. And it goes down for the bottom one. Because uh, see on my top ones I have, they go they come in on the top here. Go straight down as the little feeder box there. But my bottom ones are going to come on the on the sides just like just like this one is. And uh, actually, uh, for the amount of birds, I only have six birds in there right now. If I fill that thing up, it would last uh, over a week. So, uh, and I, this is all things I'm doing and figuring out uh, to to go out of town. And all I have to do with these boxes is uh, with my breeders. Uh, these two top ones if I have to go out of town which I am going to be going out of town but all I have to do is add length on these two tops right here just add another length and that, that'll give me another couple of days a week or whatever so uh, I got this down pat you guys finally fi getting it figured out uh, getting it figured out so that I could go out of town and it'd be uh, they, they got five gallons of water in each and the water lasts weeks uh, they, they actually takes takes them a couple of weeks to drink the water so uh, so I'm, I'm all set uh, with the uh, the quail uh, and uh, my chickens I don't have them I got I got rid of my chickens because they were eating the eggs I'm gonna be getting some more uh, layers uh, egg layers but uh, before I get those my next thing I'm gonna go ahead and modify my coop and get it ready because I'm gonna be ordering meat chickens and so uh, and then I'm, and I'm gonna get me some uh, egg layers, and, uh, and then that we have just to let you know. I know some of y'all know this already, but watching my videos. But uh, the next thing I'll be uh, uh, building the rabbit hutches. I'm gonna be getting rabbit hutches ready to start raising meat rabbits, and then right here in this same section right here, I'm gonna have my aquaponics. I got my tank here, about a 500 gallon tank. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, just only raise. Uh, lettuce grow lettuce right there and I'll have fish so in my little city backyard I'm gonna have quail chickens for meat chickens for eggs and meat rabbits and I'll have fish and then of course all the stuff that I do grow and um, so I will be searching for if there's anything more I can do if there if there are other things let me know put a comment below let me know I, I'll check into it and see but I, I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, uh, figure this out and work this out where, you know, if there was a major catastrophe, some kind of major thing that happened in the world, that I could still uh, survive on my little city lot here. I wouldn't have to depend on a Walmart. So another thing that I'm fixing and I'm learning right now, I'm reading up on, is uh, how to save my seeds. Uh, because if you have a major catastrophe and you can't buy food, well, you sure is uh, not going to be able to get seeds. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm, t I'm saying all that because uh, if I can learn this, anybody can. And uh, I'm going to try to learn as much as I can and freely give you the information and help you out so that you could survive if something major happened. You could take care of your family and your children, your grandchildren, and uh, even beyond that. Uh, if if you have the, the, the space, if you have the room, uh, you can extend your your food out to more community or whatever. But uh, and then you know uh, I'm gonna be doing other things like setting up a propane uh, generator for my house, so uh, I can't I don't have to depend on uh, electricity. Uh, which we I'm not going off grid. We're gonna have electricity, but when electricity goes out. I want to be able to have a generator and I, I don't need to go buy a, a big gen generator I have two generators already that I've already uh, had uh, by running uh, extension cords ran air condition lights fans refrigerator freezer uh, so uh, there's a lot that could be done uh, if you do it right and I have two generators and I, I'm gonna get those set up and I'm gonna put outlets in my house where if the electricity goes on, all I gotta do is turn them on, turn these generators on, and I'll have 
power in the house to uh, keep my food right and um, you know give us some air and all air I have a, a window unit that we that we use for when times go out we can run a generator we have the window unit still have air in the house so we got plenty of different things I want to show I mean I, I haven't done any of that before and I'm gonna be doing it and uh, whatever I learn I'm gonna show uh, freely show it to you so uh, um, so anyway, I, I like the way everything's turning out here with my, my coil set up here. I really do. Uh, I like it. Um, uh, I haven't really, I pro uh, promise you, I haven't seen anybody on YouTube do this right here, what I'm doing here. Uh, I've, I've seen some people build a, build an incubator. Um, this is made out of, out of wood, and I lined it with uh, foam um, for insulation. And uh, this thing came, to me, this thing came out beautiful. It really did. And it's going to be nice when I put my little window in here and, uh, so I can see in there and, and you'll be able to see too. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an update what's going on because my phone died today. I do have some of it on video. I am going to make, a, uh, make a, another video that you'll be able to see some of the process, some of the construction that was going on here. And um, so, uh, all right, so that should take care of it. For tonight, um, you guys be blessed, and I'll see y'all on the next video.